Okay, so I'm just over here. We just got all of these vent baffles in the trusses. So basically got one and a half inch Artec foam and we are, I'm gonna kind of show you how we did it to vent the whole roof. So your roof needs to breathe. So we have a vented soffit outside. The air will travel through there and go straight up through these vented baffles, which gives an additional R value and vents out through the ridge cap. We've partnered with Home Depot and I'm gonna show you the process and come up some of the specifics to get this detail right. You really wanna make sure that your house is breathable, but at the same time it's airtight. And so I'm gonna show you a little bit in this how we accomplish that. Here's the current vent baffles that they sell. Um, this one's just like an egg carton material. Uh, it's just super thick. You can see how pliable it is. Uh, just not much to it. This is the second type that they sell. It's a little bit stronger than that egg carton material, but it's just a, a thin plastic. You can see right here, this one's still pretty pliable. Just not much to it. So I'm gonna be using this R-Tech insulation, one inch to make these baffles. So you can see right here, it's gonna give me an R value. Plus it's gonna kinda help with the insulation of the roof as well. Um, it doesn't mold, it's gonna reflect some of that hot hot air in the summer, kind of as a first line of defense. And um, it's just gonna be overall a higher quality than the already made baffles. A little bit more work, but in my mind, I think it's worth it. So I'll kind of show you how I'm uh, cutting this all up. So after I have them in two 24 inch pieces, I'm just getting on a one inch scribe and just coming down. jig so I could bend it like this oh uh-huh and then I'll do this up and then there's my air baffle what's the air baffle for the roof here we go we got all the rafters over here and right now um, in between these trusses is about 22 inches each so I'm gonna kind of show you um, how we're cutting these and what we're using all right so we're just over here between the trusses just from the top over here, uh, I got a line that's about one inch down, right where my baffle's gonna hit um, at this angle. And I am going to be drilling just with a three quarter spade uh, right through. I'm gonna probably drill about six holes just to be able to get some ventilation. Six to eight holes. That's gonna go up right over here. Just follow me all the way up to the top. Make sure you wear your protection. I'm just using this Owens pouring two inch foam. Just got them right here. Then I'm actually just using a regular putty knife. Just uh, kind of sharpen the edge just because it's so thin. Uh, it kind of makes it a lot easier to cut through the, the foam. So I'm just cutting a notch where the baffle is going to go. Uh, then I'll go put it up and I'll show you what it looks like with these eighth inch holes uh, by one inch washers. I'm just threading it and then putting it up through right over here. So it uh, just holds it up. They don't make plastic cap nails between two and three or I couldn't find any and two and a half were a little too long. So that's what I'm using. Here we are all complete. All these baffles go all the way up. It goes down so it breathes all the way from here all the way up to the ridge vent. So what I'm probably gonna do, um, you can kind of see there's a little bit of crack. Probably gonna spray foam all of this, but this is kind of what it looks like, just so your roof can breathe, and then you can get a, a tight closed uh, envelope on your roof. So as you can see, the gaps used to be like this, 
filling them in on both sides all the way down just to get a continuous uh, break for vapor and thermal. So now this attic, we can condition it because these baffles already have a thermal break. Putting in the fire block foam, great stuff. If you're doing a lot of gun work like this with the gaps, I would recommend getting the pro gun. Yeah, so just kind of going through, gonna be filling these all in and we're done. And there's what we got. All done, now the roof can breathe. I'm gonna show you exactly how that detail from our inside baffles ties to our outside. So I'm just outside and I'll show you our soffit. Here's our soffit and as you can see, it's vented about every four to five inches. And those vents just tie directly into our house and that's where the roof breathes. So from the soffit to the ridge cap, that's where the baffles go and that helps the air just circulate in a continuous circular motion.